Hey party people, Techno here, and in this video we have a, another fairly basic padlock, a Brinks 50mm brass bodied padlock, hardened steel shackle, spring-loaded locking paws, as uh, you may expect for a lock of this style. And in this case, we have a keyway that vaguely resembles an M1 keyway, but it's just comically large. So this is in fact a 5-pin core. And both the Master M1 key blanks or the K15 key blanks fit in this keyway with room to spare. Like I said, it's just almost comically large how, how big the keyway opening is on this. And it tapers towards the top for some reason I don't quite understand. But in any case, we're going to see what it takes to pick this lock open. And to do so, I'm going to use a top of the keyway tensioner in 50 thousandths to accommodate that very large key opening. And of course, my Sparrow's Tron pick. And let's go ahead and get started. Nothing on pin one. However, pin two is binding. And nice click out of pin two. Nothing on three. Nothing on four. Pin five is binding. Click out of pin five, back to four. Nothing on four. Nothing. Uh, can't tell quite if pin 3 is binding or it's actually in the set position. I think it was in the set position because I just overset it and let that drop back down there a bit. So back to the front. Pin 1 is binding. Nice click out of pin 1 there. So let's go back and check these. We have 1, 2, 3. Again, not sure if that's set or binding and four. So it's either pin three or pin four in this case, and it was pin three. So just pushing that up a little bit, we got this open. So not a terribly challenging lock there. Uh, actually a lot of a lot of slop in the core. You can probably see that if I lock this back up, just placing tension on that, it moves significantly. And we have those spring-loaded locking poles there, which reveal yet another weakness of this kind of lock design. And that is that we can go ahead and shim this guy open. However, in this case, I, I will have to point out that there is barely enough room to get shims into this. So in that respect, that was actually fairly well done. And it's, <laughs> it's almost more effort to try to shim this lock and get it open than is worth the effort. You might as well go ahead and attack that core because that core is not terribly impressive. So try to get these shims into place. As I said, barely enough room and honestly probably more difficult than it is worth trying for unless you really want to go for that bypass. Okay, we should have those in place now, and there you go, able to shim that open. You probably could see there that I struggled significantly more with shimming and bypassing the locking mechanism than I actually did with picking the core. But in any case, that is the Brinks 50mm padlock. And until next time, I thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, take care, and I will catch you later.